Hello everyone. How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty well. I haven't been uploading in a while. Uh, cause I've been really busy. But now I'm back. And everything is great. Cause it's Christmas. And there's no school. Hello everyone! Uh, today I've got something really cool to show you guys. Uh, and that is head tracking with Track Skull. So as you can see, the animatronic is following my head movements. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've had a lot going on these past few months, especially with school. And I made a little update video talking about kind of the things I've been working on. Uh, so if you're interested, you can go check that out. I'll link it in the description. But today I'm back with another sponsored video from Life Ape. And as you probably guessed from the title, we'll be talking about Track Skull V2. Uh, and more specifically, I'll be going over the head tracking feature, which is where you can get your animatronic to follow your head movements. So what is Track Skull? Well, Track Skull is a software that helps you record animatronic shows. A lot of you may recognize it from that tutorial I did where I showed you how to control a simple skeleton animatronic using a joystick. Uh, and that part, controlling stuff from a joystick, uh, setting it up, that's going to be the same between the original Track Skull that I showed in that video and Track Skull V2. So if you want to learn the basics, I recommend you go watch that first and then come back here. It'll be linked in the description or I'll put a card somewhere around here. So first things first, let's pull up the software. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that it looks very similar to the original Track Skull in terms of layout. Uh, this is where you set all of your server parameters. Here's where you connect the joystick. All that's the same. Uh, but you also might notice that this is different. So instead of a cube showing you where you're doing your joystick or where your camera's tracking, uh, it's a skull. So that's kind of cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up that controller. Uh, and I'm using the exact same controller box that I used in that original tutorial. Uh, so it is an SSC32. It's connected to COM3. And I do want to talk about the baud rate real quick, uh, because I've had a couple questions on that. Now, when you first buy an SSC32U, it will come preset with a baud rate of 9600. That is the default. Uh, and you can change that on the board. There's like a button in between two LEDs that say A and B. I'll include the link to the manual if you want to learn how to change it yourself. Uh, but if you don't change it, then that is what you'll need to select here. And I have changed my baud rate on the board to be the max. Uh, because I do know sometimes if you do the lower baud rates, you might see issues with servo movement. Uh, especially the more servos that you have. So I went ahead and set mine to the highest because I'm working with six servos here. So next we need to go into the servo settings to set that up. And for the jaw, I'm going to be using Axis 2 on the joystick. Uh, so that is the front and back motion. And the jaw is connected to pin 3. And I've already figured out those parameters. Uh, if you want to know more about what this is uh, and what those numbers mean, I'd recommend you go check out that other tutorial that I did and then come back here. Now for the eyes, uh, I actually have one servo in each eye that control the rotation, but I wanted both of them to move at the same time using only one input from the joystick. And in order to do that, I just wired them together using a breadboard, so that way they're both getting the same signal and they'll move at the same time. And that is connected to pin 4 on the SSE32, uh, and I'll be doing that on axis 3, which is the twist motion. And of course, I already went ahead and figured out those parameters and then filled them out here. Next, I'm going to do the servos for the head tracking, and there are three servos that control the head motion. There's one servo that does up and down, one servo that does left right, and the other servo that does the tilt. And this is very important that you have one servo per each movement like that, uh, because you will be mapping one of your head movement, like axes, uh, to one of those servos. So if your head moves up and down, that'll be controlling one servo that does up down. And then of course, if you do left, right, and then tilt will be another one. This means that this head tracking will not work on the skeletons that I made in my original tutorial. Uh, and that is because on my skeletons, it takes two servos working together uh, to get like an up down motion and the tilt and stuff. But this does work really well for triaxis skulls, uh, which is kind of like the mechanism that I have in this guy. So if you're considering buying one of those or making one, or if you already have one, this is a pretty cool way you can control them. So first on the left you have yaw, and yaw is your left and right motion. Uh, and I have that hooked up to pin 2 on my SSC32. And of course I've already figured out all of those parameters here. Next I have pitch, which is that up-down motion. Uh, and that is hooked up to pin 0, and I've already figured out those parameters. And last but not least we have roll, and that is going to be your tilt. So as you can see here, I have all of my inputs now for all of my servos. Five inputs, four or five-ish, <laughs> not including the eyes, 
uh, servos. Uh, and I am not going to connect it just yet because we need to connect the camera and the joystick. The joystick I'm using is the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. Uh, I use this in all of my videos. I'll include a link in the description if you want to get one for yourself. And to connect that to the computer, you just plug it into the USB and then go over here where it says joystick and then press connect. And yep, that's the one that we're using. Now to do the head tracking, you do need a specific kind of camera. Uh, and I will include a link in the description if you would like to buy one of these cameras for yourself. Uh, it is called the Track IR camera, or maybe it's Tracker. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but I assume it's IR because it's infrared. And these cameras are usually used for gaming, uh, so you can do head tracking in video games, which sounds really cool. I've not tried it out yet. So you can do more than just animatronics with it, so that's cool. And the camera itself comes with this special little reflector clip, and you put it on the front of a hat. And this is what the camera is looking for when it's tracking. So I've gone ahead and placed the camera on top of my computer like this, facing me like a webcam. And to connect it, you just press the connect button just like you did with the joystick. And you'll see that the skull is starting to follow my head motion. Now when I look this way, I want the skull to be centered. So I'll go ahead and hit the center button, which places it right there. It's kind of like a calibration. And now as I move my head around, you see the skull is moving. Uh, and we have the source here set to camera. Uh, if it was set to joystick, of course, it would be following the joystick motions instead. Uh, but we would like to see the camera. So now we're ready to connect to our animatronic. Uh, so you get on here and click connect. And you'll see that the pumpkin is now following my head motion. And if we want to do the eyes and the mouth, I am controlling that with the joystick. We can have a look around. You can talk to people like, hello there. Well, that about does it for today's video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, consider subscribing. It's a great way to support me and to make sure that you don't miss out on the videos going forwards. So I'll see you soon.